Hello guys, today we'll be making the Bob's Red Mill 10 grain pink ink and waffle mix, whole grain. You need one cup of Bob's Red Mill 10 grain pink ink and waffle mix, one tablespoon oil, one egg, and three fourth cup water, which I have back here. Now I need to mix it. Water. Egg. And oil. Okay. I forgot the mix, so now I need the mix. Need to open it. Open sesame. Okay, now I'm going to count the 10 grain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 4, 24, divided by 2, 12. It is totally 10. <laughs> I need to mix this before so the egg can melt. I never know eggs can melt, but I guess they can. Now the mix. It said one cup, so pouring, 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 one cup. I don't think. One cup, ten grain, three, four. Everything is numbers now. Even in cooking. To mix it until it's well combined, and then you need to pour it over a medium high heat, lightly grizzled pan. And go. Snowman. It's a snowman. Yeah. You need to cook it until it's bubbly and then flip and cook until the center is set. Now I need to flip it because it's bubbly and I think it's red at the bottom. What's red? And flip. Looks good. I need to take it off the pan. Pet, pet. I'll do the rest in a time lapse. No, 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 no. Oh, she's old. I made 10 medium sized pancakes. Now it's time to eat. It's time to eat. One cut. It tastes good. It's, you can taste the grain, but it's kind of bland without the maple syrup. But overall, it's really good. If you like my videos, leave a like and subscribe. Bye!